What is going on everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. In today's video, I have a very cool robot arm. And you know, when we want to build something, yeah, complicated can be awesome, but usually you want him to have this thing be as quick as possible. So it only involves one medium motor and one touch sensor. So check this out. What? This thing is really cool. Simple to do, simple to program. And what it's cool for is letting kids know again that robotics can help out somebody, you know, somebody who maybe have has lost an arm is able to now use this to pick up things or somebody who just can't reach over and bend as far can use this to kind of grab things, you know, without making it too hard on their body. So there's, you know, so many things you can open up the discussion for, but today I'm going to give you the link to this building instruction, but look how easy this is. One motor, one sensor, very few parts. And then I'm going to show you a really cool bottle flipping trick with this thing because, you know, if you can flip it with your hand, you can flip it with this arm. So let's go ahead and take a look at the arm, the program, and then a really cool trick with this thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how easy this program is. First, you're going to go ahead and make this uh, whole thing an entire loop so you can keep doing this over and over again. So I started off with a weight block and I'm going to use the touch sensor. And since I only have one, um, I set it for port one. And then I have the medium motor, which is plugged into A. It's going to be at negative 50, so it's going to close. And now in my other weight block, you can see I have it on for release. You can see that it's set at zero. So when I release it, it's going to make that motor stop. And then if I press it again, you can see it's set for one. I have it set now for positive 50. So it's now going to open up. And when I have it on release, it's now going to stop it again. So again, because I don't have two touch sensors, I have to set this program up a little differently than Mr. Dezwang. But this should end up making this um, robot arm work. So now let's go ahead and test it out, picking up some items. Okay, so I'm holding this thing up with this water bottle because I'm going to show you a really cool trick in a second. But that's all this thing took. A couple of 15 hole beams, some 13s this medium motor, some of these. I didn't have enough of these J-beams, so I used a gray and expansion one. But look how simple this was to build. And then that one touch sensor. Um, I'm gonna leave you the link to Mr. Dezwang's uh, instructions for this thing. He uses two, one to make the arm close and one to make it open. I only have one touch sensor, so I had to program it a little different than his to make it open and close. So if you um, take a look at the program, I'll show you how simple and easy it is. But if you press this once, it makes it close. And when I, I program so that when I let go, it will stop. It'll actually not contract anymore. And if I press it again, it'll open up. And when I stop, it'll stop. So if you can see, I'm just pressing it and holding and it goes in. When I let go, it stops. When I press it again, it's meant to open up the motor. And when I let go, it just stops. So I just found that a lot easier to do uh, than having two touch sensors. I don't know. It could be the, the same ease. And that's all you do. And so you can use this to pick up things.
right, guys. So hopefully you like the arm again. Thank you again for uh, the build on this, Mr. Zwang. I think I'm saying that right. But he's had some really cool builds. I hope you guys check out his channel because he's just got a really cool channel with really cool EV3 builds. But this thing was super easy to make. I hope you guys get a chance to make it because, you know, if you're building things, you know, this is quick and easy to build and take apart and go to something else. And this was just really cool again to be able to grab. And again, he used two touch sensors. I only have one. And so the program just had to, you know, take that into account. And so I just programmed it so that when you press it and let go, and then when you press it again, it just goes in the opposite direction. So this was really cool. Thank you again for watching, you guys. I appreciate you. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics. I'm out.